Good morning, Vietnam. doing that but good morning everybody today is march 31st we have one more day till april march 31st it's a thursday and i am making some breakfast as i usually do in the morning one thing i want to mention the vlogging community has been so amazing everyone within the youtube vlogging community ones that i've interacted with have been phenomenal you guys are so awesome I'd like to give a little special shout out to a channel called I'm Ethan 97. I'll pop in a little YouTube link in the description below. His videos, they're edited in a similar style to mine. We have similar taste. His videos are phenomenal. So he's also a vlogging channel. Pop in a nice subscription and go say hi. I have a pretty busy day today. I have work and then I'm going to dinner and then hopefully I can get around to going to the gym. It's been a busy past couple of days. I vlogged heavily on Tuesday, which is going to be the vlog you're seeing before this one. Didn't get a chance to vlog yesterday, but this weekend I'm really hoping to get out, go to the park. We should be having some beautiful weather here. Right now it's gorgeous out. I think it's going to be about 70 today. Hopefully that sort of stays the same over the next few days, but it's going to be a busy day, but looking forward to it. A busy day means a productive day. So think about that anytime you're feeling stressed out or things just don't seem to be going your way, it means you're staying productive. So a quick update on the new hardware, the GorillaPod for the 6D and 7D should be shipped to my house today. So I'll have that in my hands by tonight. By tomorrow, I should be able to unbox it, open it up, test it, do the whole nine yards. So I'm looking forward to that. And all of that footage is gonna be within this blog. So I'm not gonna separate them out. Um, within this vlog, there's gonna be today and tomorrow. So I'll be able to see the differences between this clip right now, shot on my iPhone 6 front facing camera, and then the 6D uh, or 7D, or 7D, depending on um, what camera I'm using with the GorillaPod um, stand. So I'm looking forward to that very much. So the smaller GorillaPod for the iPod, not the iPod, iPod for the iPhone should be here, I think by Monday. So we can test that out as well. The quality won't change because it's still an iPhone, but hopefully if I take it outside, it'll be a little bit more steady. And I can also, um, with the GorillaPod, put it on different items. So if I want items, so I can put on a pole, or I can stand it up as a regular tripod. Because all my time lapses so far have been with the iPhone. But I'm looking to get into time lapses with the 60 and the 70, which are high quality cameras. So those should look pretty sweet. guys today is friday april 1st it's april fool's day so play your pranks play your jokes keep them fun don't play anything too serious but today is april fool's day so go ahead and play some practical jokes on your friends your significant others i'm sure i'm gonna be doing the same sorry Alyssa. so exciting news last night my gorilla pod came in i have the box sitting right there I have not unboxed it yet i'm gonna do that when i get home tonight from work so tomorrow what that means is i can use the gorilla pod of course, with the DSLR, and we'll see what that's all about. But that's gonna be the first in the one of two GorillaPod equipment upgrades. Once the iPhone GorillaPod gets here, we're gonna use that one, hopefully by Monday. But we have now gotten the larger one in hand, so I look forward to using that today. It's pretty bummy out. It, the weather doesn't look, it was so nice yesterday. It's, oh, it's overcast and it's cloudy. And it's Friday, so there's a mixture of emotions going on. I'm happy that it's Friday. I'm upset that it's crappy out. I've been pretty bad this week about going to the gym. I did not go on Wednesday. I didn't have a car, and I didn't go on yesterday because I was out to dinner. The car is in the shop right now. I should be able to go tonight, so we'll see. Now, I will go tonight. I'm definitely going tonight, but we'll see what time we do that at. I still want to unbox the Gorilla Pod tonight for tomorrow. I can use that to start filming. Just got out of work. 
pretty cool angle there in the elevator. Or it's a gorgeous day out. Hope everyone's ready for it. What's going on everyone? Just got out of work. It is a gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Friday late afternoon. You see behind me there's the Verrazano Bridge. I'm right now on top of the parking garage. Heading home, going to go to the gym and then begin the weekend. And I'm also going to unbox and test out the new Gorillapod for the DSLR that came in. So that footage should be coming up very soon. But before I do that, there's a gorgeous uh, cloud covering and it would make for, I think, a pretty cool time lapse. So we're gonna do that first, then head home. It's finally time. It's finally time. One. Two. This is the small gorilla pot for the iPhone. So let's open this bad boy up here. Now I'm not one to do in-depth unboxings. I'm not gonna show it in the contents of the packages, but let's just see what we got in here. We have receipt, obviously, and wrapped up in tissue paper. This is right there. Well, it's not an automatic focus. Oh, I think it is actually. Grip tight gorilla pot stand for smaller phones. I hope this fits around my phone case. I'm not sure, and there's no reason to do that. More Joby stuff, and then here we go. A little nice stand here. It's very small. And you just stand it up. It's not even, though. Take your iPhone. Take the thing that I can't get out of the case. Should look something like that. Now screw on. Now screw on. Mm-hmm. Now don't do this. It's gotta be a better way to do it. I should, you know what I should have done? I should have put it on. I should have put the phone on after. Oh, we got it. And there you go. For all intents and purposes, there's a way to hold your iPhone. So when you're vlogging, you can kind of do stuff like this where you can move it around. And yeah, it looks pretty good, I think. It's a little bit of an easier way to hold the camera, but yeah. And the good part about this is that you can stand it up, so if I do time lapse now, I'll have a place to stand this up, and it becomes a little stand. Perfect. The big boy. Here we have it. So here is the Gorillapod Focus with the ball head. All right, let's get this bad boy opened up. Ooh, here we go. We got the Gorillapod. This thing is big. There you go. So I'm filming on a 60. Here's a 70. So let's... Now, I don't really give you an easy way to do this. Oh, the plate probably. Get the plate off. Put the back of the plate on. Doesn't fit on the 7D. That doesn't make any sense. How is it not? These should all be proprietary.
Okay, so I feel a bit like an idiot. I thought that the little Gorilla Pod um, screw didn't fit, but there was a larger 3 8 screw over the uh, 1 4 screw, which fits my camera. So I had a little mini panic attack thinking that I bought this and it wouldn't work on any of the cameras I own, but it does. So let's try this one more time here. So now we're getting pretty crazy right now. We have both cameras going. I have that one recording, this one, this one recording, that one. 70, 60. But let's take this bad boy for a spin. So this is the 70. This is the wide angle lens and I'm holding it on my Gorilla Pod. So I bring you guys back over here. You can see exactly. Now it's a big camera being held up by a big tripod but the quality on this is gonna be a lot better. It's a little heavy, so I might change the lens out to something a little bit lighter, but yeah, this is the wide angle lens. This is how the pros do it. So I just recorded a whole three minute clip and I didn't realize it wasn't recording, but right now what I'm using, this is the Gorilla Pod for the iPhone. So I'm holding it as I would hold the other camera, but in this case, it's a miniature version of that. The nice part is you can tease a little bit less shaky. I'm not holding the phone like that. So I have, I can reach out a little bit more now can see my arm there if you really wanted to. One thing I'm noticing though is that the attachment from where the tripod meets the attachment for the phone is a little bit flimsy. I'd be weary of that. I have an iPhone 6 with a, an OtterBox case. It's one of the thinner ones though. It is a little bit flimsy so I would be careful about where you put this specifically because it looks like the attachment may not be completely solid. But for the most part I'm satisfied. I think it works really well. And I look forward to using this now. Now it's beautiful outside. It's a great sky. So I'm gonna test this out and see what we can get. Wow. Okay, so I had the camera on top of my car with time lapse using the tripod. And it's a 30 second time lapse. It goes from beautiful sunny skies to very, very dark clouds. And then back to kind of light gray. Within those 30 seconds, it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Check it out now.